we now know that whenever we have a current carrying wire this current carrying wire is going to generate its own magnetic field okay so at all points surrounding this particular wire we will have magnetic field like this so we will get concentric circles like this all right now if i take a particular circle at all points on this particular circle at all points on the circumference of one circle the, mag the magnitude of the magnetic field intensity will be the same don't forget because all points lying on a particular circle are equidistant from this wire so we have uh, concentric circles generated actually like this and uh, due to a particular current carrying wire the magnetic field intensity extends up to infinity that is theoretically of course which is not possible in reality now anyway what i want to discuss here is the direction of the magnetic field intensity now remember the direction of the magnetic field intensity due to a current carrying wire is given by the right hand thumb rule you've done this in class 10 also so we are not writing the statement okay um, now right hand thumb rule says that if the thumb of your right hand points in the direction of the current so in our picture the current is our the current is flowing in the upper direction so here comes the my thumb of the right hand okay so if the thumb points in the direction of the current as you can see the other four fingers points in the direction of the magnetic field this is what your right hand thumb rule says so the current is flowing in the upper direction if i want to find the direction of magnetic field intensity at point p over here okay so the other four fingers are pointing towards the direction of the magnetic field which in this case at point p is into the plane of the paper so at point p the direction of magnetic field is going into the plane of the paper what about at point q so here comes again the thumb of my right hand all right so at point q my four fingers are pointing out of the plane of the paper so at point q the direction of magnetic field is like this now if i want to find the direction of magnetic field at this point it will go in this direction again given by your right hand thumb rule at if i want to find magnetic field intensity at this point the direction okay it will be directed this way okay so don't forget your right hand thumb rule you can try it out